Good morning from Mount Stewart. So we're here at one of my favourite trees on the estate and it's a really, really special tree. Rachel's currently, uh, and well we're both here, currently harvesting the seeds from it. Now my generation, we just don't see these trees anymore. They have completely disappeared from the landscape. Some of our viewers might remember them across the landscape, but this is an elm tree um, and it is an absolute beauty. It's a huge, huge mature almost minor which is the smooth leafed elm or small leafed elm or field elm and um, these have disappeared from our landscape uh, because of a disease that was brought by a beetle uh, called dutch elms disease um, and ultimately uh, there was a mass fell of these uh, trees from the sort of 70s 80s and they've disappeared from the landscape as a result however in a number of locations where one they missed the initial felling like this one here um, or coastal and maritime climates seem to keep the beetles away from them and thus they are able to survive past that 20 to 25 year old age before they start uh, getting affected by it. So this particular elm, the small leaf elm, almost minor, minor, is like the rarest of them all. Um, we also have witch elm, almost glabria, um, here as well. But we are now propagating from this tree and the other elms here just to start restocking the woodlands. Now we know more, and I say we, forestry research and so on, know more about how the disease is impacted and actually that maritime climate means that they survive more. Um, we can start restocking the woodlands here with more elm, one through natural regen, but also bolster the numbers. And uh, hopefully we'll see some fantastic elm in the future, but this one is an absolute beauty. And look at this seed stock on it. All of those bundles, these, Oh, the flowers and then the seeds just ripening off you can hear that crispiness absolutely fantastic it's going to be growing these in our new tree nursery that we're starting to work on so i'll see you next time